Have you decided to stay home for a change? Where were you? I was at Miss Vera's. And then I hung out with the guys. Hmm. Do you know what time it is? I always come home like this. Is this news to you? Did you go through my desk? I saw this necklace on your teacher. So what? I gave it to her. <laughs> and you sold your watch for this? Because it's mine. <laughs> okay. Go to your room. Please give me the necklace back. It was bought with my money. You haven't earned your diamonds yet. <laughs> Badu, why didn't you come for so long? You didn't call me either. I'm busy. Busy at work. Are you jealous? What do you think? <laughs> I think you're just bored. But I can't help you. At ease. Good evening, General. <laughs> Who is it? Who's there? I fulfilled your request. I know. You're so funny. I can't believe it. Please. Girls, go get some air, huh? Oh. Hi. Do you know why your Vera was expelled from her previous school? I thought she had left on her own. Not really. She was having an affair with the director, and the director was the husband of the head of the education department. Uh, is that so? So you better watch out, and stay alert. Vera. Hello. Mikhailo. Get in. I'll drive you. You don't have to. I'm close. Thank you. I know it's close. Come on, sit down. Leave me alone and be jealous in silence. Come on, man, come on. How was she? Was she tempted by the jewelry? It's not fair. Alexei and I demand details. This is a great role-playing game. Teacher, student. How's your mom? She's fine right now. But she's constantly on the edge. I'm very worried for her. I understand. No, Mikhailo, you don't understand. Vera, I've been kicking myself all my life. I was young and stupid. Do you remember how we ran away from the lecture and kissed in the park? <laughs> the Dean caught us. You don't remember? You know... Memory is so selective. I only remember my mother's illness 
in pregnancy from those days. Sorry. The pelvis is narrow. The bones haven't separated. Is it dangerous? What are you talking about? Don't be upset. There's still time. Your body will have time to adjust. What is it? What happened? My mother... is dying. She has cancer. I don't know what to do. Well... Well, first of all, stop crying. Secondly, there's always a solution. But what's the solution? You will need to get money for your mother's treatment. You will need the strength and time. A child can become a burden. There are people who specifically look for newborns to make it look like the woman gave birth herself. Do you understand? Well, girls as young as you are, they often give birth and then abandon their children. But a childless but wealthy couple can take the child. No. I'll help you carry it. It's heavy. Mikhailo, no need. I can manage on my own. Vera. I'm really worried. I see you every day and... And I feel it all again. Just like that. Mikhailo, don't do that. You have Ira. Christina. She's a great girl. We're responsible for those we have raised. Exactly. Thanks. I married Ira because she was pregnant. Mikhailo, there's no need to remember the past. It just stopped bothering me. But it still bothers me. <sighs> oh. Hello. I don't want to interrupt, but I have an urgent conversation. The teacher has a day off. Come to school during work hours. If it's something urgent, give me these. Goodbye. Give my regards to Ira. Is something wrong with Agor? No, with you. <sighs> but Em, I'm sorry. I know it's not ethical to take gifts from students, but I didn't know how much it cost. I thought it was just costume jewelry. I gave it back. To ask for something more expensive? I don't get it. You're getting on well in life. First with one director, then with another. For God's sake, it's your business. But don't you dare touch my son. You are a scoundrel. You're fired. Go teach other fools. I'm sorry if a gore grows up to be like you. You're not worthy of that boy. And you think you're worthy? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're twice his age. They're taking your son away. Where? They've probably already taken him. <laughs>
Did someone hurt you? I'm just tired. Have a little cry. I often cried into my pillow too. So you wouldn't hear. It's hard to be alone, but apparently the men have gone. Mom, what are you talking about? I understand everything, Hera. Mom, it's not what you think. Perhaps this is our fate. <sighs> well, you remember that it's better to be alone than to be with anyone. Mom! What? I don't have time for men right now. Did something happen? No, I just wanted a drink. Then I'll make dinner. We'll have a drink together if you're in the mood. Thanks, I've already eaten. Are you sure you're okay? And I don't want to drink anymore. I'm going to bed. I have a headache. first time was with you. You don't regret anything, do you? No. Where are you going? We're going to miss the bus. Come on, get ready. Kalo, look at me. Let's talk. What's there to talk about? What do you mean? What do you want, Ira? To marry me right away? Don't do this to me. I'm sorry. It's just that I think we shouldn't have done this. Isn't it too late to think about it? I shouldn't have done it at all. Shit. I'm so stupid. You didn't think so five minutes ago. And five minutes ago, I wasn't thinking at all, Ira. Ira, I'm begging you. Let's keep this a secret. A secret from whom? A secret from Vera. Yes. Yes, because I love her. When you love someone, you shouldn't sleep with others. Get dressed. Hello. Hello, Agor. Your father didn't say anything to you? Uh, no. What happened? He fired me. We're not going to study anymore. Shit. It's my fault. No, what? It's not your fault. 
You gave the gift sincerely. I really appreciate it, but there are certain things that need to be thought about. Are you talking about money? For my father, that necklace is nothing. I don't even understand why he's so obsessed. You know, you can contact me with any questions. I'm ready to help you for... Thanks, but... I feel a bit embarrassed. Not everything in life is measured by money, right? Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Vera is a very good teacher. The children love her. In my opinion, that is exactly what gets in the way. I understand everything. Youth, hormones, a pretty teacher. But my son is in the final year of school, and we need to think about the future. Of course, learning is important. But Vera teaches not only literature. Mm. She helps children open up, helps them find themselves. At school, a lot of things remain outside the school curriculum. I guess. But the thing is, I don't like the way she exposes my son. I would like another teacher to do it. Mm. And that's why you want to transfer him to another class? Look, I'm not a prude. Perhaps your Vita is an interesting person, a talented teacher, but... Hmm. I would like to protect my son from unnecessary experiences. I get it. Vajim. You're making a mistake. A big mistake. Since Vera came to our school, Igor has changed quite a lot. Mm. He began to devote more time to his studies and his behavior. It's the behavior that worries me the most. I, on the other hand, will never believe that Vera can have a bad influence on someone. She came to your house, you could see for yourself what kind of person she is. That's right. I drew conclusions, and I had to cancel her services. Well, what? That's your right. Thank you so much. Igor. From now on, you'll be studying in Class B. Who is that? Because it will be better for everyone. What if I don't want to? It isn't up for discussion. Go to your class. What do you want? Did you really fire Vera? Yes, and it's not negotiable. <laughs> Why? Because my son is able to read a few books on his own. I'll still go to her. I forbid you. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Psycho. I gotta be honest. Did they leave you here? I left myself here. Around 20 minutes ago. <laughs> well, let's get started. So today's topic is... Take a seat. Why are you here? Is the director's decision just a soundbite for you? Well, he didn't ask my opinion. If you do it again, you'll be expelled from the school. Christina, sit down. Either we study in this class, or we won't study at all. Don't 
Don't you dare put conditions on me. Thank you for your support. You didn't have to say that. My father was unlikely to find out, and they'll scold you. I'll get over it. What do we do now? Personally, I'm going to skip my lessons. You decide for yourself. Uh... Can we go to a movie? That's a good idea. What's going on? What did you do to annoy Vajim for him to transfer his son to another class? He did it? Yes, he asked me to protect his son from you. It's a gore who needs to be protected from him. Why? Vajim's a respected person in this town. He always helps the school. Here, the repairs last year. Do you know that Agor often spends the night at home alone and his father only comes home in the and morning? It's none of our business when he comes home. Of course. He has so much money. It convinces everyone. And no one cares how that boy will grow up in that family. The fact that his mother is constantly abroad, he talks to her for five minutes a week. But they don't care about Agor. Mikhailo, remember what he was like? Angry, always rude to everyone? Yes, Igor has changed a lot now. Yes, because he's kind, he's gentle. He just lacks love. But you can't give every student a mother's love. And we shouldn't try to replace their... parents. <sighs> yes. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry, but this is his son. And he has the right to decide his fate. Are you okay? It's stuffy in here. Did you see that? <laughs> wow! Ice cream cones? Woohoo! <laughs> going home, I have to go. Yeah, let's go. Opa! Have you been messing around with Christina? Shut up. Why shut up? Neither of you dare to say anything. She's the only one who stood up for me. Of course, what does she care? Dad's the director, her mom's the headmaster, and we can get kicked oh, out. I get it. Come on, Eager, what's wrong? I have a lot to do. I'm in a hurry. Where were you for so long? We were worried. I didn't want to come home. I've told the teachers to give you truancy notices. You'll have to do extra work for each class you missed. Did you transfer Igor because of me? Why do you think it's because of you? It was his father who asked. Why all of a sudden? He hinted that his son was having a relationship. <laughs> Who'd miss Vera? That's ridiculous. She's... What? Nothing. Christina! He didn't die. What? And you'll keep quiet about it. Swear that Michaela will never know about this. Swear. I swear. It 
Igor. What? Your father demanded it. My parents said so. That's why. Christina, do you have a summer house? Yes. Can I stay there? here. You can sleep in my room. There's a heater in case it gets cold. Thanks. And it's... don't look in the desk. I have poems in there. I won't look at them. I can't stand it when other people touch my things. You should probably go. Your parents will be looking for you. I, I decided... to stay here. What do you mean, stay? <laughs> I... I wrote the truth to you, in poetry. I'm all yours. In body. And in soul. You don't love me, but you don't have to. I'm very happy now. Me too. What's to? Happy. You're lying. But I don't care. Do you want me to come to you every day? Of course. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll die of hunger. That's true. His father transferred him out of our class to get as far away from Miss Vera as possible. And he bought her a necklace and she jumped into bed with him. Why are you lying? There was nothing between them. Really? And why did his father do all this? Exactly. Why are you all crowded together? Sit down, the bell has rang. So, today we have a new topic. Can I ask you a question about an old topic? Yes, of course. Tell me, what was the appeal of women from Baljack's age? <laughs> Why were young people so attracted to them? Ah, well, that was the heyday of female beauty. A woman realized her autumn was near, and she lost her fear and caution. She loved as if it were the last so time. So young people were being used and encouraged to have sex, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it didn't always come to sex. Most often it was just... a platonic relationship. The last passion. Tell us about it with specific examples. Maybe from your own experience. Hmm. Let's end this conversation and get back to our topic. Okay? So in short, I'm tired of this circus. Who's with me? Hi. Uh... Okay, let's go. I have a lot to do tonight. Children, where are you going? I didn't let you go. Sit back down. Christina, what's going on? They think you're with Igor. That's ridiculous, of course, but the guy said it. And they believed it? Definitely yeah. was. I definitely was. Crazy. I'm telling you. Did you see it around her neck? That's that all. Happening. What questions do you have? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wait. Alexi, look. Quiet. Quiet. Oh. Quiet. Are you spreading gossip? Then say it to my face. Okay, I didn't see it myself. But you took the necklace. Eager said that you did. So, yes. Listen to me carefully. There is nothing between me and Agor. And there never will be. And I don't want to hear any more of this gossip. Do you understand? He sold his watch to buy you a present. So there's no point in him lying. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> that's what it was supposed to see how she is? Yeah. That's it. That's that's it. Oh, yeah. That, that teacher. Sign it. I can't work here anymore. Wait. Wait, what happened? Vera, don't get too excited. Sign it. I can't fire you in the middle of the year. I don't have a replacement. <sighs> Children in the final year of school cannot be left without a teacher. Then you'll have to fire me. For absenteeism. Where have you been for so long? I was at Veronica's. Why didn't she pick up the phone? The phone went dead. The phone was out of power. Mom, don't bother. Are you redesigning the schedule? Mom, can I sleep at Veronica's? We want to watch a horror film. Why are you running away from home? Uh, honestly, you and Dad are either silent or changing the schedule. Is a calm atmosphere at home a bad thing? We're not calm. We're bored. You can go. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, Vadim. Good evening. What's going on? No one is eating anything. The dishes have been standing for three days. No one has eaten anything. Thank you. I don't have much of an appetite. Wait. Did Igor not eat anything either? I said it was the third day. He hasn't even had lunch. Out of 
Wait, I've brought the groceries. Wait. I'm heavy. Thank Come again, down. Leo. My son. Why are you looking for him here? Where else could he be? Igor! What's going on? Vera, who is this? This is the father of my student. Please, look for him. I'm sorry. It just turns out that he's been gone for three mm. days. And you just noticed? Mom. Sorry. Please go to your room, okay? That's strange. Where could he be? He hasn't even been to school for two days. I have no idea. I don't know who he's friends with. You're his teacher. You have the contact info for all the students. Former class teacher. <sighs> Wait for me outside. I'll be right back. I always feel like I'm sleeping. You can't get used to things. You lose the sharpness of your senses. Where did you read that? Vera said it once. What did Alexei say about you and Vera? Your friends put her in a bind today. Shit. Did you have something? There wasn't anything. What are you talking about? I just told the guys that I was just joking. Are you completely stupid? That's not something to joke about. Everyone believes it so I didn't now. think they were so depraved. You have to explain everything. How should I do that? Go to the blackboard? I don't know. But imagine what it's like Christina, for her. let's not talk about it. You love me, don't you? Very much. Do you know his friends? Yes. And it's a pity you don't. Yes, Ira? Vera. Did you talk to Christina? She took the spare keys to the summer home. Do you think they... Yes. I'm on my way there. <sighs> yeah, okay. We're going there too. I know where they are. It's outside the city, half an hour away. Let's go. <laughs> Igor, are you there? Open up. Open the door or I'll break it down. We need to open it. Are you crazy? Madam, you should be gentle with him, okay? How? Do I have to persuade him? Of course you do. He's your son. Open the door. Igor. Don't be afraid. I'll be right back. Oh. <sighs> I'm here. Open the door. What do you want? I want to remind you that you have a home. I remember. Come out. I'll take you. I will return home when I decide. Adam, Igor, of course, of course. Just remember that we're waiting for you here. Are they here? Yes, but they won't come out. What do you mean they won't come out? Oh. <sighs> Christina! Uh, uh, Mom? Get dressed. You're going home.
No. Excuse me? Don't touch her. Move away. Did you hear me? Let's not get too excited. And you stay out of this. This is all because of your son. I told you to get ready! Don't come near me! Ah, uh, hush. Put the knife away. You don't believe me? I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm staying here with him. You all go! Ira, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. I will not leave my daughter. I'm counting to three! One! Okay. Just calm down. Christina, we're going. See? Let's go. Put the knife away. Please. I'll do it when you're all gone. In two! Did you hurt yourself? I don't care. Don't leave me, please. I'll die without you. I'll never leave you. I love you. Ira, don't do that. Christina is a minor. You and your son will be in trouble. Let's not get too excited. If you think about it, what's so criminal about it? Do you really not understand? <sighs> I understand everything. But it's already happened. What's next? <sighs> Look, children have love. Well, it's too early, of course. I agree. But it's not fatal. They're still too young. And this... is all a big mistake. And your son will ruin her life. Maybe less dramatic? Why does he have to ruin her life? Igor's not a bastard. What do you know about your son? I'll tell you. This is the worst thing that could have happened to my girl. Dad, just a minute. I wish your son had died back then. How could you say that? I can. Do you see what they've done? What do we do now? Take her away from here. Where am I going to take her? I don't know. Think about it. To another city? To your mom? Don't drag my mom into this. We need to separate them. You know that. <gasps> no.